Technology giant Google has teamed up with the Israeli Antiquities Authority to create a fascinating online version of the 2,000-year-old Dead Sea Scrolls, which include high-resolution images of the Ten Commandments, which up until now had been viewable by just five people. Only five conservat conservators worldwide are authorized to handle the Dead Sea Scrolls. As of today, everyone around the globe will be able to touch the scrolls on screen. Users of the website deadseascrolls.org.il will be able to look at and read the ancient scroll fragments, place where each scroll was first found, and text search in both Hebrew and English, as a result of thousands of 1950s infrared photos being uploaded after they were found in caves in 1947. Users from all over the world can access these ancient scrolls through wherever they are, and they can experience them uh, in, through any device anywhere in the world. This, bring, this project brings to life the Ten Commandments, Genesis book, known verses from the Psalm, and some 5,000 images or fragments from the scrolls. A special laboratory has been created to take the project to the next level. Using NASA technology, every scroll fragment will be photographed 28 times in 12 different wavelengths of light. This will allow users to see each and every crease and ink spill as well as words previously unintelligible to the human eye. The exciting project to bring the scrolls back to life is expected to be of great interest to all the Abrahamic religions. It's a project that uh, I believe that every human being around the globe is very, very excited. Again, because it's not only for the Jews, it's not only the story of the Jews. It is the story of Christianity and Islam and all the other. This is the Old Testament. The project marks another development in the close relationship between the tech giant and Israel. Parts of the Jewish state feature in Google's World Wonders project, while Israeli PM Benjamin Netanyahu recently opened the multinational firm's new technology campus in Tel Aviv.